make soup, should we follow a recipe or make our own? Let's decide what soup recipe to make. Should we make radish and carrot soup or carrot and potato soup? Yum! I love that soup. Let's visit the Shady Garden and pick some vegetables. The Shady Garden is cool because the trees block the sun's light and it gets some rain, but not a lot. If you want to check what you need for a recipe, use this. Drag up to pick vegetables that grow underground. Now drop it into the vegetable basket. Use the arrow buttons to see other vegetables in the garden. P. Broccoli. P. Carrot. Potato. Radish. That's all the vegetables we need for our recipe. Let's go to the kitchen and make soup. Our vegetables are a little dirty. Let's wash them. Drag a vegetable under the running water to wash it. Now put the clean vegetable on the other side. The recipe says that we should chop the vegetables into smaller pieces before we cook them. Click on the vegetable to chop it. Keep going until it's all chopped up. Let's take a closer look at this vegetable. Pick up the magnifying glass and move it over the vegetable to get a closer look. Press this button when you are done. Some vegetables need to be peeled before we can eat them to take off the rough skins. Remember, sharp tools should only be used by grown-ups. Look, a compost bin. Drag the vegetable waste into the compost bin. This is where we should put all the food parts. It's time to cook. Put your vegetables into the soup pot to cook them. Now give the soup a stir. We finished our soup! We made radish and carrot soup. This is yummy. All the sun in the desert makes for tall and healthy vegetables. The, this vegetable grows above ground and has seeds on the inside. The plant can grow lots of little vegetables or one big one. Chili. This vegetable grows on the plant in pots. 
we eat the seeds inside the pod, and sometimes the pods too. Eggplant. I wonder what happens when we make soup with spicy red chili. Squash. Vegetable plants grow outside in the soil. That's why we need to wash them. The vegetables that grow underground have the most dirt on them. Washing vegetables is important because we wash up things we don't want to eat, like dirt. Some vegetables have a tough outer skin that is not easy to eat. Other vegetables have leaves. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. The seeds inside some vegetables. Corn cobs grow on tall plants, protected by tough leaves. The little yellow seeds that we eat are called kernels. Other vegetables have leaves, pods, or the seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. Squash can be lots of different shapes, colors, and sizes. The squash has lots of seeds in. The Some vegetables look really different on the inside. Peppers can be different colors: red, orange, yellow, and green. The pepper has an interesting shape, and lots. When the waste breaks down into comp, it's time to cook. We made desert soup. This tastes really fresh. All the sun and rain from the farm means the vegetables grow big and healthy. Some of the vegetables at the farm can grow very large. I wonder if we can make soup using only root vegetables that grow underground. Vegetable plants grow outside in the soil. That's why we need to wash them. The vegetables that grow underground. Have the most dirt on them. Next time you pick a vegetable, think about if it will need to be. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. Pumpkins grow on top of the ground. Look at all those seeds. The seeds are good to roast and eat too. Some vegetables have a tough. Some vegetables look really different on the inside. The seeds. Other vegetables have leaves, pods. The seeds inside some vegetables can grow into new plants. When the waste breaks down into, it's time to cook. We made Halloween soup.
Delicious.